I am just following Nasra who's 12 years and some of her friends uh, uh, girls who live in the same village as she does. I am in uh, Kenya's Tana River County and uh, Nasra and her friends and the other girls have just come from Tana River uh, which is 12 kilometers from their village to fetch water. They've now fetched the water and are now making the commute back home another 12 kilometers. Uh, I've spoken to Nasra and some of the girls. This is their everyday commute. Most of the days they haven't eaten anything. They've just woken up in the morning, had some black tea um, and then gone to fetch water 12 kilometers to Tana River and back home and then they go to school so by the time they're getting to school they're not only tired but they're extremely hungry after school they have to come back home and make this same commute um, to uh, Tana River and back home again another 24 kilometers and when they go home on a good day they might get some food um, it's a gully on some days which is just some flour uh, and water mixed together to make a pulp or rice most of the days they find no food and have to again uh, survive on black tea for the night hoping that tomorrow will be a better day the story of most girls in some of this uh, drought prone areas in the Horn of Africa including Kenya is this one this is their lived reality uh, not sure when they're going to get their next meal having sometimes to sacrifice even going to school just so that they're able to fetch water and help with other activities in the home it's unfortunate but it's the lived reality for many of them here